Welcome to another 3 minute review. This time we're looking at the Backman V2, model number 31-550B, 4471 Green Arrow. This is another model that I recently rediscovered whilst looking for something else. I know it's quite an old model now, but being released about 7 years ago. It has an updated chassis of an older split chassis model, but the body and tend to remain the same. Why am I reviewing it? Good question. It was left to me by my good by my dear friend Ken Goslin. He was eighty five when he died, but his wife only allowed him to have a model railway six years previously. I would help him with electronics, track laying and anything else he didn't quite understand. As you can see, I'll have to drill the chimney out at some stage and file that seam mould lined out and give it a slight repaint. Removing the body is only two screws which gives access allowing us to fit a DCC decoder. It's a hell of a lot easier than the old split chassis model of which I did quite a few when I worked part time in the model shop. Next to the standard Backman motor which gives time tested reliable service is the 8 pin DCC plug. A slot for the decoder further forward moulded into the chassis block with a bit of jiggery pokery it is possible to fit a sound decoder and speaker. Yellow overhead warning flashes decorate the model as per the real thing. I backdated these to the red version for I model the late 1970s era. When I eventually detail this model up though they'll have to be removed as it ran without any in that period. The real engine was built in 1936 by the LNER to a design of my namesake, Nigel Gresley. V2 class with a 262 wheel arrangement makes it what I would term a mixed traffic locomotive. Equally happy trundling along with a freight train or zipping city to city with an express passenger service. Renumbered 800 in 1946 by the LNER in view of the impending takeover by British Rail. In 1949 it was renumbered again to 80600, lasting another 13 years in service, eventually being withdrawn in 1962. Earmarked for preservation, it would see a variety of different homes until being fully restored, returning to the main line in 1973. The model runs a lot smoother on the new chassis and is a worthy addition to the layout that I can utilise on steam charter trains. Next in this series will be another parcel van. In the meantime, thanks for watching, see you next time.